You. Put me up on your face. Peanut butter? Peanut butter. Like you can have peanut butter on the video. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Peanut butter and Crunchy? jelly? Creamy. 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 Always. Yeah, always creamy. Is it good? Crunchy by accident. I get it at work. Mm. Oh, it's but. Five pound tub. Oh. <laughs> right? Yeah. Food for six months. Thing. No. No. It lasts like we go through, a month. We go through peanut butter. How do we look, Eddie? Do we look good? Yeah? Is it recording? Yes. Okay. Oh, it is, yeah. Nice. Yes. You can turn around and go. Absolutely. Let's do this. Episode 40. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 40 of the Oak Life Show. I'm here with my friend, Mr. Tom Kirkham, and Addy, doing her best Michael Jordan impersonation. <laughs> Can you dunk? Nope. No dunking, but uh, she's young. She'll give her some time. Tom has been known to do some long distance racing. And when we say long distance, Tom, let's define that for the people, because some people, when they think long distance, they think 5K. Um, so, so we've done a couple of ultras. We've done a 50K, which is 32 miles. Um, I've attempted 100K and not finished it, <laughs> DNF. Um, and then last year we did World's Toughest Motor, which we ended up getting 50 miles at. So, the 50 mile Tough Motor. 50 mile, five, five mile loop, uh, 18 to 20 obstacles per loop. And did that for 24 hours. 24 hours straight, we did. Because that sounded like a fun time. It was fun. And it was in Vegas. It was in Vegas. And it's hot. And it's hot. And then it's cold. And then it's cold. So we wore a wetsuit. I ran in a wetsuit for 30 of the 50 miles, roughly. Shorty, two laps without anything, a shorty for two laps, and then the rest in the full wetsuit. Comfortable? No. R running in the full wetsuit? No. Yeah. You get used to it. I would think there'd be chafing involved, but I... There was none. None? Um, no, absolutely not. A little body um, glide? Some, no, mm -hmm. way better. So one of our world's toughest friends gave us a mixture of gold bond powder and Vaseline, and you mix it up till it's this horrible, awful gray color, and you cover yourself in it, and I had zero chafing. Only nice. put it on once. Okay, so if there's anything so, to take away from this video specifically... That's it. Gold Bond Vaseline. Till it's, so it's gray. Gray. Nasty looking gray. The uglier it is, the more. Put it all over yourself. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Which is awesome. One application in 24 hours, though. That's not bad. And we were wet. Um, we were wet at least six six or seven times every time. So. Because I have used the body glide stuff, and that's, that's pretty good. Not yeah. doesn't seem to be as doesn't exciting stay. as what that is. Yeah. Not doesn't have the staying power yeah. that, the, that the Vaseline Gold Bond did. So this this summer you're racing, doing stuff. Summer, You've raced yep. already. We did we did the Michigan Tough Mudder already. Okay. Um, we will do the Minnesota Tough Mudder in two weeks. Um, we are kicking around the Savage Race mm -hmm. with, with the group here at CrossFit, um, and then we will do the Chicago Tough Mudder, which is they're calling a toughest mudder, mm -hmm. um, America's toughest mudder, I think, to be you know tough mudder correct, um, and that is midnight to eight a.m. Format kind of unknown at this point. It, okay. it was two five mile loops. They opened the first five mile loop for the first four hours and the second five lap loop Ooh. or five mile loop for the second four hours. However, they have changed it at every single one of them. Um, the, the draw to these is their surprise money. Oh. Not that I'm going to be a contender <laughs> for prize money, by the way. Um, but just in case. But but <laughs> there's also a, you can attain what they call contender status okay. for World's Toughest Mudder if you complete 25 miles in the eight hours. Oh, wow. So then what that means is you get a better pit selection at Worlds. Yeah. I mean, where we pitted at Worlds was probably a, an extra quarter to a half mile walk from where oh. we went into the pits. So we were lucky enough to have uh, Jason and Brian there that, that met us at the front of the pits with food and water and chicken noodle soup, the best, worst chicken noodle soup I've yeah. ever had in my entire life at 3 o'clock in the, the morning. Yeah. Salt. Yep. Salt, sodium replacement. Salt noodles, yeah. yeah, it was a good thing. Yep. Yeah. What are what do you look, in the way of like goals and stuff for the rest of the summer, like what, what does Tom have to get better on So to, to, to do what, just, just to do what you do to be, be happy with what you're, how you're You know, I need to get um, a, a little faster from a running perspective, okay. um, distance-wise. Uh, my, my, my 12s and 13s need to go to 10s and 11s mm -hmm. um, consistently mm -hmm. over, over that duration, right? Gotcha. Um, you know, at, is it uh, a long duration? Uh, it is, mm -hmm. right, yeah. So um, that, that's probably the biggest thing, and I think it, that, that, that could be for me as simple as, you know, losing 15 or 20 pounds. Mm -hmm. I, I, I believe that in my head right now we'll see if if, a, if i can accomplish that and b if that's any, if there's any truth to that gotcha. so then perhaps some upper body strength um some of the hanging obstacles mm -hmm. um 
you know, by the end of the, by the end of the summer, I want to conquer your pegboard back there. Yeah, that's a, that's a definite goal. That's, a, that's yeah. not easy. <laughs> it's not easy at all. Uh-huh. So, so we've been doing a lot of hangings, more mm-hmm. more rope climbs than usual in here, um, as as our as our cash outs. Mm-hmm. Um, so to to work on that kind of stuff, and then we're just starting to amp up the running. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a there's a chance we're going to sign up for uh, Black River Falls, which is a new 50k somewhere up in northern Wisconsin. Okay. So. When's that? October. Okay. So we got a ways for ways to go for that one. August August is probably the biggest weekend for the summer. We're gonna run um, one lap of the regular Tough Mudder mm-hmm. Saturday morning. We're gonna do the eight hour overnighter, and then we're gonna run another lap of the regular Tough Mudder on Sunday morning. Ooh. So we're in a sense creating our own little world's toughest mudder that yeah. weekend with with some rest in there. It's not quite the same. But in a sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because we can't do, won't, won't and you're in Rockford, those. and we're in Rockford. So there's no <laughs> desert, there's no scorpions, there's no snakes, there's no, there's no cliff to jump off of. That's kind of a bummer. Who would think Rockford would be so great? Right, I mean, really? Who knew? Yeah. Who knew? Um, talking about the, the the upper body strength, running faster stuff, some of the some of the weight loss stuff. What nutritionally, what are, what are we doing in the way of changing stuff up or, or altering things to kind of get so, you where you want to go? So I haven't necessarily changed anything yet, um, but what I did start doing was actually tracking it and mm-hmm. logging every single thing. Um, I'm using my fitness pal for whatever that's worth. Yeah. Um, and, and and that breaks down. It's nice because most of your store bought foods, the RX Fit Aids, mm-hmm. the, the the things that that all of the nutritional yeah. content is in there. So, in there so at the end of the day, you close the day out, you get your breakdown of carbs, fat, and, mm-hmm. and, and your macros at least, right? Yeah. Um, and, and protein. So so trying to balance that, um, you know, 40, 30, 30, I think, mm-hmm. is, is a, a starting point. Yeah. I don't know if that's yeah. right, uh, wrong, or indifferent. Um, and, you know, you see you see what you're not getting enough of and, yep. and what, you're, what you're getting too much of, which is typically fat because mm-hmm. it's easy to do. Yeah. Um, so, so that's a starting point. Um, I'm doing the precision nutrition thing through mm-hmm. here, um, which is helping. Good, good for habits, all that mm-hmm. kind of stuff. I'm a, a wee bit behind right mm-hmm. now, but I'll, I'll, I'll get caught up this weekend. Um, and, um, yeah, and, and, you know, some, some common sense things there. Eat mm-hmm. slow. Uh, that's made a yeah. huge difference. That, that was the best thing I've gotten out of it so far. Yeah. Eat slow. Slow down. Which I don't do often. Yeah. you're always, you know. Oh, you have kids. I stand. Yeah, I stand. I stand in the break room yeah. at work and mm-hmm. and inhale my food and have a conversation and run back to my office mm-hmm. and work and you know so it's that that's helped a lot. Yeah. So good. Could you? Because that's not easy. No. Uh-uh. And I like the idea of tracking stuff just to kind of get that baseline so people know where they're at because a lot of times they don't know where they're at and they're trying to make adjustments and it's and you have no idea which way which way's north. You know, and it's built in accountability to mm-hmm. yourself, right? It's it's you know you you when I eat the Hershey's kiss. I still like the Hershey's Kiss so much, but I know I have to write it down because I just have to because yeah. I've committed to myself that I'm going to do that. Mm-hmm. And, and then when you put it down, then I feel bad. And then I look at it and I'm like, oh, you take the Hershey's Kiss out. That's 10 grams of fat, right? Yeah. Um, so it's silly things like that. Just going back and looking at it and seeing what what did you do? You know, I work at a place where they make snack nuts and peanuts at at, uh, at, at JBSS. And so it's easy to walk by Let's and go grab right there. A handful <laughs> of pistachios. I love pistachios mm-hmm. and they're always at, at a coworker's desk. Mm-hmm. Well, just you know, walk by, you know, five handfuls of pistachios a day start, yeah. starts adding up. Yeah. A handful of pistachios a day is great for you. Yeah. Five is not. No. <laughs> not the same. Really, that line. It is. Yeah. That's, so, so that's, you know, and then and then when you go back and look at it, and, it, and it's made me stop, you know, um, you know, the, 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 the person that sits on the other side of the wall from her is our, is our ingredient candy person. Mm. <laughs> um, it's pretty easy to walk by and grab a handful of chocolate and yeah. just keep keep on going. You know, I still take a couple of pieces after lunch, and that's okay. Mm. But you don't take a couple of pieces twelve times a day. Yeah. You know, every time I walk down the aisle. Ah, thanks, Kelsey. Yeah. You know, so darn you, Kelsey. <laughs> Which would be thanks, Megan here after. Oh, after okay. Kelsey leaves. Even better. Yeah. Thanks, okay. Megan. Hide it. <laughs> Put in your desk. Right. No, yeah. it's funny how convenient that stuff ends up being, and it then is. how how much it adds up. It adds. Just those little, little snacky right. things. Yep. Yeah. But again, you're right. If you have, it's it's sometimes you start to weigh it out. Do I eat this and write it down, or do I? Oh, I don't even want to write it down. Right. And, you know, well, you write it down and avoid that. And, that's that's well, the you, commitment to yourself. Yeah. Right? Sorry. Or yeah. not eat it and make that like, it. because yeah. you don't want to write it down. Correct. Which I think yep. is a, is a huge step for people. And it works. It works for me at least. Yeah. I don't know that it works for everybody, but it, but it it, do, it does work for me because mm-hmm. it's. I mean, I go back for the last week and I look at, you know, if I start looking at that. I look at map my or um, uh, my fitness pal, and, and every day you close the day out, mm. and it says if you do this for five weeks, you'll weigh X. Mm. 
and that's saying like 160 something yeah. right now, which <laughs> that never happened to me, probably. But but um, it's an app. But it's, it's an app. app. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a it's a it's a nice feeling. <laughs> um, but if that, if that were 180, I'd be thrilled. Yeah. You know, so. So guys, look for Tom in all your world's toughest things. Possibly the Savage Race. Savage Race. Possibly any long distance thing in the Midwest. There's a good chance you'll see him. Tom, thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. Addy, thank thanks. you to you. Say bye, everybody. Peanut butter face. Bye, peanut butter face. We'll see you. <laughs> bye. Nice to know.